In the early 1980s, I came across a book uh, called Women's Images of Men. And it was a, a book that was written after an exhibition that was in London at the International Institute of Contemporary Art. Um, and it was an, an interesting idea that grabbed hold of me because up until that time I have worked with mostly self-images and, you know, returning the gaze with turning the camera on myself. But this gave me a whole other uh, idea because the, 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 the question uh, in this exhibition was to find the erotic potential in the male nude. Now, I wasn't interested in that, but the idea of women creating images of male figures fascinated me, and I started creating uh, male images and effigies and trying to sort of extract uh, my idea of, of, of male energy. Um, this is actually an exploration that fits this whole wall behind me and um, it was also an exploration that held me captive for at least 10 years that I worked with various um, male energies um, and effigies and at a point in time I started making these big seated barrel chested figures that had no arms and no heads and the idea for me there was that uh, so much of how we perceive ourselves as, as women have traditionally over the years been through the words of men, through the writings of men from Plato and Aristotle to St. Augustine, the church, uh, the, the patriarchy that I grew up under uh, it told us how to be women, how to understand ourselves as women. So in these big barrel-chested headless figures, I removed the heads deliberately to put the focus into the chest and into the heart and into the guts rather than into the intellect that prescribes how things should be. I have also in many of these figures eliminated the arms so that the grasp of ownership is removed thereby.